Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to our Disneyland Paris travel day. It's take two after our horrific journey we had on Wednesday. Um, had 13 hours stuck in the airport, boarded the plane, and then uh, the flight was canceled. So we've rescheduled um, for this Sunday. So we're off now. So hopefully we'll be on our way and come along and join our fun. into departures, Christopher. Quite busy today, so hopefully the security's not too bad. Through security, only took a couple of minutes. Um, got scanned as always, but don't I seem to have that experience every time I go on a holiday? It's like a something I'm looking forward to now. Let's have a look, walk around duty free, and then get some breakfast. My lovely Jean Paul there. It's my favourite there, Limel. Always have a little spray in the airport. Mmm. All these uh, lovely sunglasses, but fortunately, because I'm prescription, I can't have any, but they're really nice. £170. You get pretty good savings here, 20% off. Not as good as Orlando, but can't be sniffed at. So looking at the departure times, ours is 6.235 to Orly, 8.25, so we've got till 7.35 to wait for the gate. So let's simply go get ourselves some breakfast. It's quite busy in the airport today, and it is a later flight than last time. So fingers crossed we'll get a table. If you do cut to the left in Bristol Airport, you get a nice little uh, staircase. It takes you right up to the uh, restaurants, but I'm going through all the raft. So that scene, where we were sat on Wednesday for our uh, 13 hour wait, right in front of W.H. Smith's there, in the middle. The trauma. Just popped in Frankie and Benny's for your breakfast. Gonna get my lovely sausage breakfast roll and cute potatoes. 8.50, not bad. So I got my sausage back with my breakfast cubes. Jess has got a lovely pancakes. Looking very happy with herself. Hungry. <laughs> Just come out of Frankie, it's got about 10 minutes to our gate. It was £25.20 for everything, which wasn't too bad, but do give yourself an extra three hours coming to the airport because the queue to get into Frankie's, um, whilst it was empty, it was super long, but never mind. Off to gate nine. So far, so good. This was the point we got to the gate and the gate was closed, so Whew, hope we get there. Gate nine and it's open. We've made it through the gate now, so just waiting for the board. Further than last time, so fingers crossed. Nice spacious waiting area. Hello, we've arrived in Orly, had a lovely flight, hour and five minutes, not bad at all. It. Yeah, I did. Quick, nice and quick. Good service on the flight. Went through passport control in about five minutes. wasn't too bad at all. So when you come out of departures, head for buses and taxis. So you have to go to stop. Um, sorry, gate 18, and then bus stop seven, or the magical shuttle to Disneyland. You can see bus stop seven there for Disneyland Paris. I think the best thing to do um, when you're arriving, you're not sure where to go, you can get outside. It's just walk towards that big Orly One sign, and it's just two bus stops down. So you've got six, and then you've got seven. So a little bit further up from here, there's a 
crossing like that one there. You need to just go over there and wait for your bus. And then the bus stop seven is Alain Paris. We're at our bus stop now, lovely weather. We actually lucked out after our horror on Wednesday. We had rain on the previous trip most um, day and night, and now it's pretty dry. The sun's quite bright, it's quite lovely. Um, I think my only advice would be if you arrive here and you haven't been here before, just stay on the ground floor and keep walking until you see one of the big oily pillars and then you can't go wrong. It is a very confusing airport, so I probably would um, research it before you, can, before you come because I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> It confused me. Yeah, you obviously have to pre book your magical shuttle, so make sure you do that before you come. It's a lot cheaper than a lot of you um, than getting an Uber, but it depends how you like to travel. But I swear by it, it's easy, it takes you straight to the hotel, and then you're in the park. In. Very excited. Let's have a little look around the shop because we're starving, get a little snack for the room. Luckily, got here at one o'clock and our room's available. So, we're gonna get some snacks and then give you a room tour. Just walk into our room, we're in Wild Bill Hickok. Uh, we were in Jesse James last time, it's a really good location, uh, about two minutes from the shop. Jess is there with the crisps. She's got to have a holiday crisps. Um, yeah, really nice of them. We got access to our room straight away. Normally you have to wait till three, so we were expecting to uh, stuff what we could in one bag and take the rest and get in later, but it was lovely. The, the really nice thing about this hotel, it's so spacious and quiet and lovely. As you can see, I'll spin you around. It's just like this, all around you, all the time. Because the rooms are, uh, around in first floor, they're really spaced out. A really nice relaxing chill vibe, the lovely country western music behind you. So yeah, let's go check our room out. It's from building 20, in room 2001. Which is lovely. So there's our room number there, 2001. Right next to the fire exit actually, which is lovely. Short stairs there to other areas people stay in. And an exit here. So we're at the hotel. Daddy. Wonderful. So let's go have a look at our room. Hello. <laughs> so I went for the just the standard room. So you either get the option of having two double beds, or you'll get a double bed and a like a sofa pallet bed thing. But it's exactly the same room class. Lovely Toy Story theme, as you can see. I really like these rooms. In fact, it's not much price difference between this and Santa Fe, and I much prefer to stay here just because they've been more recently refurbished. So yeah, we've got two double beds, got a fan there, lamp, and there's the telly, which welcomes you when you come in. Got some little hooks there, store your coats, little area to get ready. Got your standard coat hangers, bathroom, which is lovely. Lovely little cups. These tissues are always my favourite. If I didn't demolish them, I'd take them home because they get so crushed in the box. Got towels, nice and hard as I like them. Yeah, standard shower, wood panelling. Yeah, it's nice, really good for the price. This was £356, 
for the two of us for two nights. Uh, obviously, it's safe there as well, I've got to say that. But yeah, I've not stayed on the ground floor before, which is nice. And we can uh, see a little bit outside, see what we can see. And not a lot, but still something. Get a nice little postcard when you're staying as well, which is always sweet. Get them in all the hotels, but the one in here in the uh, Sequoia Lodge are particularly cute. I think last time we had Bambi. And uh, here's the Magic Pass, which is still the 30th anniversary. So whilst we do have annual passes, um, these are our room keys and uh, allow us extra early access to the parts from half past eight. They've got USBs as well now, which is lovely. We had a, uh, a bit of a problem in Sequoia. We had to end up getting a plug from the train station. Um, they weren't here last time I stayed, so that's really nice. So if you do have USBs and no plugs, don't fret, you have got power. Yes, that, that's our room tour in the lovely Cheyenne. Definitely the best value resort in Disneyland Paris. Would recommend it. As you can see, we haven't brought any suitcases with us. We just got our lovely Disney rucksacks. So I've got that one. And my sister's got the red one, both of which came from the Disney store. Now I did buy a really nice coach bag in Florida. My sister said, don't bring it because you'll get it dirty. And I was like, no, I will. So I didn't and brought my all weather Mickey lovely bag. And look what I did. I dropped a cream egg on the plane and it attacked my bag. That's why I can't have nice things. I'm gonna end my travel day vlog there. I'm gonna to head to the park now for our day one. We were gonna to go to Walt Disney Studios um, as we're eating in Waltz tomorrow in Disneyland Park, but after the trauma we had this week. We want to be near the magic so we're going to go to Disneyland Park today. Had a really nice journey here actually in fairness to the horror we went through earlier in the week. Um, but yeah the flight was lovely, the coach was lovely, um, check-in was lovely, the everything was lovely so we had a really nice experience. So glad to be here and we're going to have a good day so if you liked my video please like and subscribe and we'll see you later. Bye!